Hey everybody, Edo here, and again, I'm not in my usual digs, but today I'm going to talk about productivity and how to be more productive. It's actually an interesting one. It came up in my request for topics, and I feel like I've talked about it a number of times in a few videos, and I'll mention them, but perhaps there's another opportunity to bring it up again. Um, it is certainly the case that I'm known by many as being an organized and productive person. I mean, that is that is one of the ways a lot of folks would describe me, um, though I don't know that I was always that way, um, and I'll tell a couple anecdotes about it, but I do, uh, I'm gonna try to be a little less about specific hints. I'll mention some of them, but I do, I really feel like I, I brought those up in my other videos, and I'll try to talk about some of the perspective and mental approach and things I've gotten here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's more useful or not, but hey, I can't make every video the same. I'll just link the other ones. Um, so why do people think I'm productive, especially those who don't know me online? Well, it's because I have a full-time job. I have a family, wife and two children. Uh, I have, and a dog. I have a Pencil First Games, which is a board game publisher. I have gaming with that when I make these videos. And then, you know, I have hobbies and exercise and other things. Um, and I've been doing all of these things and with Kickstarters and that for a very long time, for five years. I mean, professionally, I've been doing my job for 20 years, um, making video games. But I've been married for, oh no, 17 in November, 17 years in November. I'm not a young dude. I know I look good, but I'm not. Um, so, so, and, you know, I... I still get sleep at times, uh, and you know I haven't imploded yet, so I think that's important. So anyway, so yeah, I can I do a lot of stuff, um, and certainly I know for folks who struggle doing one of those one of those things, it can be like, well, how do you get it all done? So I think I you know I I, I know a lot of folks. I've worked with a lot of folks. I, I am I'm pretty good at getting things done uh, and like sticking on it, um, and so again to those other videos, I'll highlight two, there have been some other ones, but one was a video I did about how to be productive what, during stay at home or whatever, I remember. I don't remember the title, but I'll link it. And that was really good examples of how to be productive and be in, in, in that environment. Uh, the other one is from a long time ago was how to be a producer and product rules of thumbs and ways to think about product development that I think are really good cornerstones to my approach and how I think of things. Um, but I wanted to hit some other things about it. So one, um, being productive and being organized is like any other skill. You might have a, um, a, a, a certain innate ability and sort of starting point, uh, like maybe you are good at organizing things, but as a practical matter, it is something that through working on and doing gets better and better. And I feel like I wanted to bring that up because I don't think people think of it as a skill that you can level up like any other skill, like any other skill where you can get better at it. Like, I think people understand, like, I know, like, artists struggle with this a lot, where they think of art as obviously something they've been working on their entire career and leveling it up and leveling it up and getting better and better. And everyone around them is getting better and better because you can see it and understand it. But when they think of organization, they're like, I could never be organized. You're the one organizer, whatever. Like, um, great artist, Helen. Uh, she's a little bit of a mess, incredible artist, but she's a little bit of a mess. And she's like, you're so organized that how can you do it? I wish I could do it. It's like, I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been, you know, doing all this stuff. I've been working on game after game, product after product. Like I've gotten good at it and I've gotten good at understanding it. And so, uh, what is the reason for telling that story? It's not to say, Hey, look, it's, it's attainable being organized, being on top of things, you know, being, you know, procedural is something that you can work on and get better on. There are some people who are better at different things using different sides of the brain, but I'm 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 nowhere near as good as I was um, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or when I was a kid. Um, you know, in fact, I, I distinctly remember when I was in, well, not distinctly enough to remember the grade, but I wanna say ninth grade or 10th grade, maybe it was even 11th grade. Um, I was like going through my classes and I had art and art at school and I had art teacher, Miss Stockton, and I don't know, she I, she, I was like getting a B or C or whatever the grade was and I wanted to get an A or B, I don't remember. And I was like, hey, Ms. Dugden, what can I do to get a grade that's higher in art? <laughs> um, and, and she was like, you wanna know what you wanna do if you wanna get a higher grade in my class? And I was like, yeah. She's like, 
finish a project. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, you have never finished any of these products or projects you started. There's this project, this start project, this project, none of which done. You get it 50, 60% of the way, and then you move on to the next thing. You're happy-go-lucky, you're having fun. You never finish anything, Ed. That's what I want to see, you finish something. And it was funny to me because it blew my mind. I was like, what do you mean I've never finished anything? I finished everything. What are you talking about? And then like she like listed it off, and I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't finished anything in my life. What's, you know, um, and then, you know, I did. I finished a project for her. Um, but but it helped a lot. And um, so so that that's anecdote one is just so you start from somewhere. Um, another thing, though, is this quote I read uh, somewhere at some point, and and I don't I can't attribute it, but it's about procrastination. As a kid, I was always procrastinating. Um, you know, I would just do everything last minute, leave it. You know, I was the kind of person that, you know, the first page was good and the last page was bad because I did the last page the night before or whatever. Um, and, you know, you know, I'm, I was a relatively smart kid who didn't work very hard. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think that as part of it, it was just a matter of, you know, not I, I, in, I and this isn't really a video about me, but like I'm just trying to get some perspective. Enjoy learning, enjoy new experiences, not really about being a detail guy, at least when I was a kid. Uh, and now I'm I'm very detailed, um, but so I would procrastinate all the time, and then even heading into college and beyond would procrastinate. And the thing that really blew my mind, another thing recently, like maybe two or three years ago when I got this, was that it was a statement that like procrastination isn't a time management problem; it's an emotional management emotion management problem. And for me, it resonates. It's, it's saying, you think of progression, like if I just organize myself, I get things all lined up, I get it, I'll get it done. But then writer's block or whatever, you go to do it and you're not in the mood or you're, you know, you're distracted or, um, so, so it really turned and became clear to me that your emotional state has as big a deal on productivity as your sort of time management skills. And that's why I want to keep talking about this as a as a, a a skill you're developing and you're growing because it's as much about handling your emotional state and your emotional productivity as it is about your ability to get things done. I mean, other things that it's really important to align to and understand is what environment, what situation, in what way do you get a lot done? It, do you like listening to music? Do you not like listening to music? How do you get in the zone? You could read the book from the 80s or 90s, The Zone, right? Thinking about how you get into that line. Um, but, or flu, what do engineers call it? Like in flow or fluid or whatever. But like, you know, like you're you're in a, in a state of productivity. Um, and actually, I got a lot of that from video games. Like I used to get in the zone in video games and I'd be like tunnel vision. I was that kid. Um, and over time sort of got that to work. And then I also um, started working a lot. I got really excited about making video games and doing stuff, and I was I was doing it on my own time. I was in QA. QA was working insane hours, very rep re detail oriented, repetitive tasks. I worked in a kitchen, um, just working hard and long. I don't think taught me how to be organized, but taught me how to do things well and do things consistently and do things for a sustained, like my, my ability to be sustained and have a sustained effort went up. So like, and this isn't the topic of this video either, but I think it's really important to understand that like working hard and working long and being passionate is important. And ultimately it caused a lot of personal damage to me, um, which, and my family, which is like very unfortunate. And, and I'm not happy about, but for sure, a lot of my ability to accomplish a lot, like was me growing that capacity to work, growing that capacity to work 20 hours a day, 19, 20 hours a day, every day, seven days a week for months and months. And not necessarily on one thing, like sometimes it was my main job and then this other thing and this other thing. 
but just being able to have that long, sustained, huge workload um, just made your capacity and being able to, you know, sacrifice life and sleep and a lot of things to get it done now. So over that period, my capacity went up, but I wasn't necessarily as emotionally capable. I wasn't as efficient. I wasn't as organized. That came as I went and, and got better each through pro doing product after product, product after product, product after product. So the volume was fantastic, but I wasn't, I wasn't paying enough attention to and caring for my personal responsibilities to my family and my children, my wife, those around me as I was sort of locked in on for lack of a better term, career path. And so that's a, another video and another story. But again, so how are you so organized? How can I be more organized? The answer is to some degree, a lot of degree, it's learning how to do a lot of work and then understanding the steps it is for you to be efficient doing it and then learning how to organize it and manage it um, as you go. But it's all these factors. And again, I feel like I did the videos where I'm like, here's like the top, here's a list of things you can do. So, but another part of this emotional side of it is um, learning how and that your work, I used to feel guilty about not getting things done, right? You're, you know, okay, so when I was a kid, I was really heavy. I lost a lot of weight in a really unhealthy way. And, and I spent a lot of time hating what I looked like, hating myself, and hating, like, like, not eating, and then eating, and then, you know, like, like, being mad at myself for eating and depressed and self-hate like lots of lots of terrible things and again i'm not trying to make this heavy but i feel like in work you can also get into that zone where you you try to set up all these things you want to get done you're like, i gotta get all this done today and then you don't and then you feel shitty about it and then you don't and then you feel bad about it and 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 so you create the spiral of like sense of loss and failure because you're not getting work done you're not you're not meeting these arbitrary goals you put down i mean sometimes they're due dates but like that spiral sucks and it sucks the life out of you um, and you're not going to be as productive right so you can't you can't let trying to be organized and productive take the joy out of being productive and accomplishing things and 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 creating and and getting things done i think that's a huge part of it so a big step for me and this is like again i, I can't even tell you when i learned and did all this stuff right because it, it's literally it's like uh, I'm trying to think of like when I was start like, let's just say 20 years, 20 years, 20, 20, 22 years of just working and doing and running and organizing and trying to do better and like grow and change and like each step away learning and, and putting together these other, these different steps. Um, and so a big one, and, and some of them are even more recent, like a lot of this is even in the last two or three years I've, I've, I've gotten really good at. And it just, it's just like, I just want to keep stressing. Like, yeah, some of this I was good at. A lot of it I wasn't. Like, a, a lot of this is like, no, I just have done 10,000, 20,000, 40,000, 100,000, whatever, hours at this, at making things, running things, working with people, collaborating, coordinating, you know, managing, organizing, ordering, prioritizing, you know, risk assessment, you know, like all of that stuff. Um, and you just, you start getting good. But, uh, but, the, but the one that had to do with the emotional state was I just have learned. So I create a, a list. I have a handwritten, I write it by hand list where I'm like, here's my to-do list. And I used to like set really aggressive dates. And then really I started to set like general targets for when I want to get th things done general sizes about like, so I could be like, well, I couldn't possibly get these 10 things done all at the same time, right? Like that's not gonna happen. And and just trying to prioritize it. So I'm like, what do I have to get done now? I gotta get this done now because this guy's waiting for it. I gotta get this done. But if this slides, it's okay. Like get getting to the point where you're organized and priority driven, but you're okay with things sliding. Like, is this like, it is, it is, a balancing act that is not easy to both be like 
in charge directional, but to be like, yeah, I didn't get it done is like a really hard balance, but it's really important because that's the same balance that says, you know what? I'm going to play a video game for two hours because I want to have some fun or I'm going to take a day off and go hang out with my family or I'm going to do like that ability is is very difficult, but you need it. You need to be able to both have priority and organization, but the ability to say, I need to do that. It's still on my list, but it's not a priority to me now is a really big deal. Um, so, so again, you have your list, have your action plan, have your order, but think about it in a way where you can, um, prioritize it and, and, and know what you need to do, but give yourself the flexibility to be in a bad mood, to get it done tomorrow, to get half of it done. You know, sometimes breaking things into micro milestones and getting things started. I've always found that get doing things in layers goes a long way. Hey, I'm just going to get in um, and like layers can be used in all sorts of ways. Hey, like, like take a, a paper or a, a game, a, a rule book. I'm going to like put in the, ca- the headers for it and then I'll fill in a section and I'll fill in a section then I'm going to reread it and I'm going to add some art or whatever. And by going through it again, it like lets you have a sense of progress and a sense of completion without feeling like you have to do the whole thing in one sitting. So breaking things up and breaking things down definitely goes a really long way. Then as you're getting things done, I think it's a big deal to be able to appreciate and celebrate success. And sometimes that's just drawing the line through it, right? Like that's done. Um, Other times that's going out to dinner, taking a break. Um, As sort of as a theme here, I really genuinely believe product, being able to sustain productivity and creativity is like on top of a healthy mind and a healthy body, right? Being, getting your rest, getting exercise, eating right, like, helps you have the energy to to juggle a lot of things and be accomplished. So some people who are struggling with organization are really struggling because they're not getting enough sleep or they're really struggling because they're not eating healthy or eating a, not even, you know, like whatever people eat, but like, you, you know, you can you can have like eating insulin spikes and, you know, you, you like you can eat in a way that dramatically impacts you, um, you know, if you're having some challenges, you might want to consider if you're, you know, have any substance abuse problems, right? Or even substance, not abuse, but even use, right? Like, I know um, if, you know, maybe I want to relax and, and and drink some wine, but like, I take a hit in the morning the next day, for example. And like, you know, I think losing a day to a hangover or whatever, you know, isn't too helpful. Ultimately, like, you know, those are all, per- this is all personal. It's all personal choice, right? Um but what the hell am I talking about? I I think what I'm just talking about is like your being, being organized, having strong sense of priorities, a drive to succeed and get things done and follow through are sound robotic, sound like this other thing. But really from my perspective, uh, perspective, they're all, they all live in us being humans and you have to, you know, manage the sort of emotional dedication space around it um you know uh, to be to be successful um and i did a video maybe i'll link it about um you know like how to get over uh, a creator slump or like after you've done a campaign and talked about ways to sort of mentally recharge and get excited again and i think those are important too um it's sort of like I think a huge part of being successful is being introspective and understanding who you are, how you succeed, what you're good at, what you can get better at. But um, you you can be organized. You can like really, it's skills, it's stuff you can work on. Again, I have those other videos, but I I just wanted to talk more on the emotional side for this one. You know, some people like these videos more than others. They're always long winded anyway, but. Hopefully this was insightful, especially for somebody that's struggling, right? Especially for someone who just feels like this is, they, they're never going to be good at this. Um, and also working with other people. You can always work, like, I, I'm not a good artist. 
I, I've gotten I'm a better artist than I once was, <laughs> but I'm not as good as a fantastic artist who's dedicated their lives to it. So when I when I want amazing art for a game, I don't do it myself. I get some help, um, and so that that can be true for somebody who needs a product manager or with those skills. It's like we do have different skill sets, um, and I guess last thing I will say priorities I mentioned for me family then my full-time job then pencil for his games then gaming with Edo um, all the while paying attention to personally me my mental health my physical health my spiritual health my emotional health uh, physical health all, all of that along with those things right um, and if if you're like me and you love what you do, like I enjoy, I enjoy making these vi videos. I enjoy my professional job. I enjoy my family. I enjoy um, making board games. It, I benefit from none of it sucking, <laughs> right? Like none of it, I don't have to deal with that. And some people do, right? So I'm very fortunate in that regard. Um, but I also, I did, I've had jobs I haven't loved and I've, I've made things I didn't like and I've certainly been in bad states from a relationship standpoint. And so some of it's having the attitude and building it and focusing on the journey and not the destination and other things I've talked about in the past. So anyway, long enough. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everybody. Edo here. And thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist. League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe. Share all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.